Hello, everybody. Welcome back to our Sunday stream. Um, I'm excited today. We're going to be starting the genocide run of Undertale. This is going to be kind of interesting. I was looking up a little bit about this before jumping into it because I know that there's going to be some fights that are going to be very long and difficult. And potentially I'm going to run into some issues running some of these fights. Um, two that I know of specifically from other viewers, from comments, from other things I've seen online. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to, you know, like learn some of these fights. So I'm hoping if we end up finding ourselves stuck on one boss for a very long time, um, I might try to do a little bit of practicing off of stream. We'll have to see. I, I, I want to try to keep as much as we can on the stream, but until we know for sure, I don't want to have a stream that's like two, three hours of me just trying to beat like Undying or Sans or longer. Like imagine a whole like two, three streams of me beating one boss. That to me, that doesn't sound fun to watch. I don't think you guys would enjoy it so much. So I might have to see how things go and just kind of guess from there. But I also, because I know Genocide Route is a bit more difficult because you have to play things very specifically. So you might see me looking off to the side through this stream because I have a guide that I'm going to try to follow to the best of my ability here. Hope it, hopefully this, this um, isn't too difficult. From what I know, the whole game should be shorter and more, um, like so there's going to be less story. The fights are going to be easier, except for some of the bosses from what I understand. So there's there's probably a lot of things I don't know. And I tried starting the game earlier and I, the re there's a reason why I haven't started it up yet. I tried starting it earlier and there is something that's popping up the moment I start the game up. So I want to capture that on stream so I don't click through anything. So we're gonna quickly switch over to gameplay here and we're gonna start up the game and hopefully it just immediately captures it. So I didn't know this, this happens the moment you start it up. Let's see if it... Uh... Okay, there we go. It is capturing it. So you can see here, Flowey says hi the moment we start this up. So I don't know what to expect here, but apparently there's some different dialogue when you start the game up again. Okay, so we're going to jump right in. So Flowey says hi. Seems as if everybody is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule over across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. What's that face? <laughs> well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? Me? <laughs> That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgore, Elphis, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose, everyone will be ripped from this timeline and sent back before all this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power? I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything? I, I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. <laughs> but if, if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. This playthrough is going to be so long. Uh, yeah, we'll see. That, that's what I was saying at the beginning of the stream is I don't know how long the boss fights are going to be. So I may have to do a bit of practicing some of the bosses after like off of stream, or I may not even finish some of them or like, I, I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it goes. It could be like Cuphead where I, I spent a whole stream fighting King Dice, uh, but hopefully it's I'm hoping it's not longer than one whole stream for a boss if that does come up. I'm sorry, you've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Draco. Okay. So, this is interesting. So, it's trying to tell you, like, you don't have to replay the game. You've basically got the best ending possible, right? And true reset. I think we have to do a true reset, right? 
I don't think there's any other options that we have. Also, you will not see me watching Poppy Playtime. I scare easy and don't handle horror well. That's totally fine, Power Flat Screen. I, I, Hunter, like, I think I remember you saying before that you wouldn't watch if I played, like, FNAF on stream. Uh, but I have been trying to get more into some of the scary games because I actually kind of have fun playing a couple of them. It depends on the game, of course. Like, there's some of them that I find very tedious to play, and I don't enjoy those games as much. But, uh, like, that one was pretty simple. I don't mind small indie games. Um, but I'll try not, I'll try to keep things mixed up so that you, you're not left out. Don't worry. Um, all right. So I'm going to try doing a true reset now. I don't know if I should just use a different name, but I've heard to use the name Chara after the character. Um, should I do lowercase? I don't know if it really matters. We'll do it. We'll do it just because that's how you spell it, right? I actually don't. Let me see. Um, it's hard to search. I just realized I, I have all my uh, key bindings changed. Yes, that's how you spell it. Just making sure. Okay. I'm really hoping that this is not too long of a playthrough, but... Hey, typical gamer! Welcome, welcome. Is this the name that I was supposed to pick for the <laughs> genocide run? I, I remember you saying I should pick Chara when I do genocide. It's usually faster than the past. It depends, though, on how good I am at the boss fights. <laughs> Speaking of indie, I've really uh, been getting rehooked on Doki Doki and still haven't seen all the DLC stuff yet. I still, yeah, I haven't even taken a look at any of those kind of like dating sim games. I think I would do a video on that over anything else. Um, I think it'd be nice as a video, but I'm trying to get more into YouTube videos again because I'm having a bit more free time. So we'll see. Yeah, the true name. Okay. The true name. So so because we do a reset, right? We do a true reset and then we do the true name. Is it trying to imply that the second playthrough is like more important than the first one? <laughs> okay, we're back. Level one. We were always level one though. <laughs> Less 64 stream possibly? Maybe, we'll see. Like I, um, I'm actually kind of like trying to figure out what games I want to play. Because I don't know if I want to play the same games. Like, I know there's like, like was it Delta Rune? Another game I could play after Undertale. I don't know if I want to do that right after, or if we want to try to mix things up and come back to it later. Um, I'm still trying to figure that out. I might have another vote that comes out when we finish the genocide run or get close to it. Because um, I'm, I'm still trying to figure things out myself. Howdy, I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Hmm, you're really new to the underground, aren't you? Golly, you must be so confused. Someone ought to teach you how things work around here. I guess little old me will have to do. Ready? Here we go. Man, I don't know if I should just skip a lot of this dialogue or not, because we kind of know what this is, right? So your soul starts off weak, but can grow a lot stronger. What's LV stand for? Why love, of course. No, it's level of violence. I know the answer to that one. <laughs> Well, even speedrunning Doki Doki, doing it by video, they need to be about 40 to 50 minutes at least. Uh, maybe. But uh, how much content, though, can I, like, skip over if I record it, right? Because, like, there's potentially sections I could skip over. I don't know. See, I've never played it before, so I'm kind of just guessing what would be what it would be good for. Um, don't worry, I'll share some with you. Down here, love shared through little white friendliness pellets. Are you ready? Move around, get as many as you can. No, I'm gonna dodge them all. Hey buddy, you missed them. <laughs> Let's try again. I love this part. <laughs> Is this a joke? Are you brain dead? Run into the bullets. Well, you just called them bullets, not even pellets. No, friendliness pellets. You know what's going on here, don't you? <laughs> You just wanted to see me suffer. Die. No. What if I do run into them? I guess I could have ran into them. I believe it does have a skip option, but it's the type of visual novel that you need to play. Okay, so it's, yeah, so since it's a visual... 
We'll see. I think it might be a good multi-part series then if I do videos, but um, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to see how I feel after I play Undertale, what kind of game I'm feeling like next. And then I know it's on my list. I have like so many games that I want to play. And because I only stream like once a week, because it's like all the time I have right now, it takes me forever to get through one game. <laughs> what a terrible creature torturing such a poor, innocent youth. Yeah, I'm not going to read through too much of this. I'm like, especially the beginning, I know it's not that nothing's different, but when things start changing, I'm going to obviously read it more. So we know all this already. I don't remember how to skip the text though. This way, okay. So I don't think there's anything I can do just yet. So we're gonna, we just basically did the intro. Okay, we'll save. So we're gonna try, I'm not gonna try like speed running it or anything, but I'm gonna just try to make sure I do everything right. So from what I know about the genocide route is we have to not only uh, kill every creature we see, like every kind of creature at least once, but we also have to make sure we we uh, fight enough in every area. And I think every time you save, it will tell you how many's left. The ruins are full of puzzles. Yeah, we know that. So it just has hours of content trying to 1% it, seven at, at the very least, even more. Oh my goodness. See, the thing is though, I feel like when I'm streaming, I'm kind of like, if I'm playing the same game for like so many streams, I don't know if like, I don't know if I get bored of the same game over and over again, or like if viewers want to watch the same thing, I'm totally fine with that too. I just, I like variety. So it's like, I like to try different games all the time. So I don't know. I feel like I could make good videos out of that, but I might enjoy playing a bunch of different games on stream. We'll have to, like I said, I'll have to see. I, I'm not set into any ideas yet. All right, we're just going to skip most of this content here. What if I pull the wrong one? <laughs> no, no, no. You want to press the other one. <laughs> okay. Splendid. What does this one do then? This switch doesn't even work. <laughs> okay. So I don't think there's anything we can do wrong here until we like, so the first fight that we do here, obviously we can. So obviously all this is still the same content until we actually do this. You encountered the dummy. So now we actually fight. You won. You earned zero XP and zero gold. Uh, the dummies are not for fighting. <laughs> they are for talking. We do not want to hurt anybody, do we? Come now. Oh, that's what you think. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. Well, I'm pre pretty sure I can. <laughs> okay, here we go. The first person that we're... Person? Thing that we're fighting? Wow, I messed that up. How long is today's stream going to be? I'm hoping for at least three hours. We could go a bit longer because I don't have to work tomorrow because it's a holiday here in Canada. So we could go longer. We'll see how I'm feeling. Hello, Kenan. You can help me. Thank you. I like I have a guide opened up on the other screen. I want to make sure I don't mess up anything. And I totally missed to read whatever text was. there. <laughs> yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we get, come there. Okay. This is the puzzle, but here, take my hand for a moment. I think the like, what I was reading is one of the hardest fights to do on the genocide route is honestly the Toriel fight, not in terms of complexity, but because it's like she's like a mother figure to you throughout the whole game. And you basically have to just be like, yeah, that that doesn't mean anything anymore. Do you have the butterscotch pie for the last run? I did. I will give you what food to eat, what weapons you're supposed to use for- Oh, that would be so good. Thank you so much, Kenan. That would be amazing. Because I don't want to like, you know, I, I can try theory crafting myself, but it's like some of the fights, it's just going to be a long time and all the help would be appreciated. You have done excellently thus far, my child. Have I? I did exactly what you didn't want me to do. However, I have a difficult request for you to ask. I would like you to walk to the end of the room by yourself. Forgive me for this, okay? Make sure to save the pie for later on. Yes. So I, it's, this isn't like, I kind of know some spoilers about this, um, this kind of run. Like I, I do know that, um, 
there's two really hard fights and I'm pretty sure they're both Undyne and Sans. And it's because I've seen this game before, like when it was first out, other people playing it, not myself. It's my first time trying it. So it's like, I do know that it's, I do kind of have ideas of what's coming up, but very vague ideas. And I don't even know how true they are. Don't worry, I did not leave you. Yes, yes. Uh, can you do that, Draco? Wait, which one? Uh, I absolutely have to ask uh, off rip that you stream it because it's shorter. Um, we'll see. Like I said, um, I don't know. Like I, like I said, I like variety games. So if I'm up for that kind of game, sure. I, I don't mind streaming it. I was merely behind this pillar the whole time. Thank you. I'm not going to. I don't think there's too much dialogue different yet. Yeah, we get our phone. We can call. Ring. OK. Hello, this is Toriel. You have not left the room, have you? <laughs> There are a few puzzles ahead. Yeah, this is all the same stuff. So this is where things are. We have to basically attack everything and we need to intentionally um, like just kill everything we can. And I think you have to do at least 20 creatures in this area based off my guide to the side. Okay, let's go. I also got good at fighting because I'm not used to it. Meow. Oh my gosh, I... I cornered myself immediately. <laughs> hey, bro, will you try Undertale Yellow in the future stream? I That is one of the games I definitely want to try playing. I was trying to figure out if I want to stick to doing like Undertale stuff one after another after another, or if I want to mix things up, try some different games and then come back to it later. Um, obviously, if you guys have like specific ideas, I'm going to have some community posts on my YouTube channel. So if you want me to play something, you can for sure comment on those posts whenever I finish up a game and I'm figuring out what to play next. But it is on my list. I will say that. All right, let's go again. Man, I'm really bad at hitting it right in the middle. I know that would make it so much easier if I just did it the right way. I ran into it. Okay, I whenever I'm like sitting here playing it again after a week, I'm very bad at dodging. So bear with me. So I'm going to just heal here again. Yep, we'll just heal. OK, so now here we can take many candies, right? It says take one piece, but we need to at least take two, right? <laughs> what happens if I take more? How disgusting. <laughs> How many can I take, actually? <laughs> you feel like a scum of the earth. Wait. You can actually take multiple. This is hilarious. Take one? Yes. You took too much too fast. This is killing. No, if you take too much, it actually like... Wait. Oh, I can't take any more. I thought I made all my whole inventory. Look at what you've done. <laughs> That's quite funny. So I know we want to try to like... Um, get enough encounters. I don't know where the end of the encounters start, though. Uh, OK, I'm trying to remember what these dodges were for like some of these earlier enemies. OK, I don't know how I got hit on that like three times in a row. Three XP and two golds. OK, I think I can keep proceeding forward. Ring, hello, this is Toriel. For no reason in particular, which do you prefer, cinnamon or butterscotch? We'll just say cinnamon again, because I think she wants me to want butterscotch, right? Not like it really matters. This is Toriel. <laughs> you, you don't like dislike butterscotch, do you? I know what your preference is. Would you like to turn up your nose if you found it on your plate? No, no, no. I'd still take it, because it's a good heal. We'll do that. All right. Man, I got to get good at hitting those in the middle. I mean, that was definitely better. When you know what that attack is, it's so easy to dodge. I like how the game doesn't even necessarily feel easier yet anyways from attacking. I know later some of the things are going to be easier. I got to tell you, this is this run is the hardest route in the game. It takes like uh, it takes Ugh. Take it a lot like Ganondorf, but took st on steroid pills. Yes, so I do know how difficult this <laughs> this game is. I will say that. 
That's why I'm worried if it takes too long on like some of these boss fights. I said at the beginning of the stream, I might have to try to do some practicing off stream. Depends. It depends. I would like to have as much as I can on stream. That's my goal. Alan von Kaiser, howdy. Let me see if I can remember this path. No. I, oh, I was so close. Sad moments ahead. Yes. For sure, especially this here with Toriel. Beginning. Croak, croak. I think, like, the hardest part about any of these, like, later boss fights is going to mostly be me just getting used to, like, actually, like, what the fights are and how to dodge it and everything. And also hitting, you know, that middle every time to get the most damage. Oh, I almost just messed up my pathing. This is the whole thing where the rock talks to me, right? Oh, we have to do this thing first. Uh, easy. I know you have to keep grinding, but I don't know when the next area starts, right? I was hoping to get close to the end or near a save or something, and then I could just keep grinding. I know I, I, know I can't get out of the ruins area. I know that. Can I check? Do I actually have to save though, right? For that to happen? I wonder if I have, do I have to go all the way back to the beginning to do that though? Maybe I should have just done that at the beginning then. You know what? Just to be safe, I don't want to mess this up right off the start. I'm going to go back to the beginning to where the save was because I think you have to like, like, like I said at the very beginning of this, this run, we have to basically keep forcing encounters until we have enough. So we'll go back to the beginning because I think at every time you save, you get to see how many is left that you have to encounter. Oh, that was unfortunate. I was hoping there'd be one other save in the ruins, but I could just be wrong. Okay, I still I ha still haven't even hit enough to show me how many's left. Ooh, that was like perfectly center. Nice. So this is this is what the stream's gonna be: <laughs> me running around in circles, waiting for encounters. Aw, oh, that was bad. I mean, we're still one-shotting. And then after I do this for a little bit, I check the save file. It should tell me how many's left. This is going to be boring to watch because <laughs> I'm running in circles. I mean, it shouldn't take too long, I don't think. Especially because as we level up, we should start to like take things out quicker too. Let's check our save file and see if it says anything differently. No. I should have been counting. Like, if I was just mentally counting, it probably would have helped a bit, because I know it's like 20 that you need. Oops. That's not what I was trying to do at all. Is this supposed to be counting immediately or am I like, did I do something wrong already? <laughs> it's possible. I know I have, it's 20 creatures that I have to kill in this area. I hope I didn't mess this up already. That would be so pathetic if I have a guide to my side and I've already messed up.
We'll try like maybe like two or three more and then we'll see what if there's a number updating. Oh, maybe I have to be like hit a certain level. No, that wouldn't make sense. Or LV. No, it's still showing nothing. I didn't mess this up already, did I? <laughs> I'll try, like I said, I'll try a couple more and then we'll do two more exactly. And if I still don't see any numbers popping up, I'm going to check the guide again and make sure I didn't miss a crucial step somewhere. I do think this part is the most tedious part because this one, I believe the ruins are such a small area. If you leave it too quickly, you like fail this run already. One more, come on. Feels like Pokemon when you like walk back and forth trying to find whatever it is you're looking for. I've <laughs> One interesting fact about me is I've played a lot of, maybe not a lot of Pokemon games, but a good amount of Pokemon games, and I've never found a shiny Pokemon, like a real one. I've used like um, Game Sharks and stuff in the past. Is it still not going to show me anything? Okay, I'm kind of concerned now. Am I doing something wrong? Yeah, you choose to hit the dummy, that's fine. I've defeated all the different types of enemies. I don't think... I actually don't know. Okay. So it's still telling me, like, the same thing again. HP fully restored. Maybe if I, like, leave the room and come back, is it going to show me something different? No. Huh. I'm just going to keep on fighting stuff because, I mean, I know for a fact... Whoops. Did not mean to hit it again. I know for a fact that I'm doing it... Like, I don't know if I'm doing the run completely correct, but I know I can't move on to the next area until it, like, tells me there's no one left. Do I have to progress more? I didn't think I had to. Maybe I should progress just through this area a bit more. Because there's a, there's another save point I can get to, I think. But there's some more enemies that I'm going to have to definitely get through. Like, if I get to the part where we get to the, to the new home, I think this is fine. I'm going to progress a bit more, but I'm definitely not going to go into the house at the end if uh, we don't see the numbers in the saves. Yeah, because we're still not seeing anything. I'm wondering if we just have to go go further. I don't see anything in the guide specifically that I'm doing wrong. I should have just read through this, but I didn't want to read through the whole guide and spoil anything potentially. So I was like, okay, I won't go through the whole thing. Oh, no, I forget where exactly. Okay. Just this. Why oh, do you even do this part? Yep, come on, you can go. Um, oh. Did I already do this? Oh, there's another save here anyways. I should've just kept going forward. Yes, that's why I'm very excited to have some viewers to kind of help me out here, because I knew that I'd mess things up. 
And if somebody, if let's say for example, I do something that messes it up, I will just close the game and reopen it and reset the save because I know that it's going to, it's going to mess up the whole run if I don't do it right. Okay, that's the look. I think here we can't actually hit him, right? Oh no, we can hit him. I thought we couldn't hit him. He's a ghost. Oh, that was definitely not the best way to do that one. Not feeling up to it right now. Master Blook is definitely one of my favorite characters in this, too. I feel bad. Man, that's really hard to dodge, actually. Did you think you can beat Sans? I, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to beat him for a while, that's for sure. I know, like, okay, so I, I don't know much about the fight, but I saw a video where someone was doing the fight and it was like seven minutes plus just for the fight itself. And I was like, how is the fight that long? And that's if you do it without losing. So that's going to be horrible. Pretend you beat me. Ooh, okay. I lost an ex- well, you can lose experience? You can't watch for four nanoseconds. No, no, Sira, why, why? You don't want to see the genocide route? So much saddening. Yeah, I know. It's okay. We know we know we got the true ending. This is the fake reality, the one that's definitely not real. Let's go and buy these because I think they're worth it. For health, but I could be wrong. One of these might not be worth it. I don't know. Oh, that's just a sign for the spider bake sale. I don't know if I have to talk to these guys, right? Nah. Whoops. Hello, I just realized that it has been a while since I've cleaned up. I was not expecting to have company so soon. There are probably a lot of things lying about here and there. You can pick them up, but do not carry more than you need. Someday you might see something you really like. You will want to leave room in your pockets for that. Click. Did you know that you can skip the entire Muffet fight by eating it? Just being the spider donut jug you bought in the ruins? I did. I actually did that. The, the pacifist playthrough that we did, I did use that. But then I replayed it because everyone wanted to see, like, wanted me to see that different mechanic that they had, which was kind of cool. Um, okay, there's nothing here. I think we have to go into all these because we have to basically attack everything possibly. Ooh, faded ribbon. Do I have any equipment on right now? What is this one? Armor. Okay, this gives me more armor. So let's put this on. Hit that switch. Is there a Vegetoid here? No, I'm mixing it up. Wait, there is no... I don't see any Vegetoids. Wasn't there a Vegetoid that was like a forced spawn in one of these areas? Wait a minute. I'm confused now. I know for a fact that there was a Vegetoid here. Am I, I feel like I've messed it up somehow. It's working? Oh wait, the puzzle, okay, no wait, there's, I think I have to hit the button here. Okay, it is working. Cause yeah, there's, there's things that should have been showing up, but I haven't encountered anything yet. Um, it's behind the green one. I know I make I I'm trying to go off just memory here. I think it's the red one there I have to do. Okay. And then this one was this one? I mean, if I mess it up here, I'd be so sad. So I'm going to keep grinding. Yeah. So this is I need to keep hitting stuff. I need to hit another save, though. 
Oh dear, that took longer than I thought it would. That's fine. I can go back. No, nah, no, nah, this is all good. This is all... So if I save here, I should be able to see... Things that such... Okay. Huh. Get the toy knife. Where is that toy knife again? Wait, I have it on the guide here. I think. Uh, proceed to the next section. Oh, I think I just got it to the right. Over here. Ah, yes. You found the toy knife. Ooh. Toy knife, weapon, attack three, made of plastic, a rarity nowadays. That That is honestly very true. Okay, so we now have this toy knife. Now, my question is... How do I get more encounters? Do I have to go back to get more encounters? Because I haven't got any in quite a while. I think I'm supposed to just keep getting encounters until I can't anymore. And I haven't got one for quite some time. I think they do this intentionally because you, for you to do this run, you have to really like try to do this instead of it being like, um, you know, an accident. Okay, I need more encounters though. I don't know. I don't want to run too far back just to get an encounter. <laughs> I don't know if like I'm doing this right. So yeah, before moving on, continue to fight random encounter enemies. Yeah. Yeah, so I need to just basically fight. Oh, wait, wait, wait. New encounter. It was crazy when Char said it's charring time. Oh, wait, 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 I'm not. <laughs> I shouldn't be reading chat while I'm supposed to be dodging stuff. When Char said it's char charring time and charred all the monsters. That's a nice way of putting it. <laughs> this is nice. Hello. Hello, Franklin. Welcome to our genocide run of Undertale. If you haven't seen Undertale before, I would suggest watching the pacifist run first. But if you've seen it before, then feel free to stay here and watch us murder everything. <laughs> okay, so we did that one. I don't know if I'm just like if it matters where I do these encountered encounters. I'm just kind of going back and forth. You just subbed. Thank you so much, Franklin, for subbing. I, I honestly think this is all I'm supposed to do, is just run back and forth. I don't know if certain rooms have better encounter rates or something, but... This other streamer I watch will stream Celeste when I get 50 subs. When you... Wait, when he gets 50 subs. Sorry, this... The, <laughs> I swear, the YouTube little emoji thing that they have in the chat covers part of the chat whenever I'm reading it. So if, if he gets 50 subs, he will stream Celeste. Like, the whole game? Is he going to do, like, everything? All the B-sides and everything? As an Undertale Genocide uh, is finisher, my arms hurt. Getting everyone to play Celeste. I know you really like that game. I might go back to it. Um, if there's ever like a day where it's like, I want to stream like one thing different than what I have been streaming and I want to try something new, I might come back to Celeste for a little bit and then switch off of it again. Your Switch Joy-Cons are actually goaded. Do you have like any of those extra like rubber grips that you put on the Joy-Cons or is it just like a stock? Switch Joy-Con. Hey, 
And you not only beat Undertale Genocide, you also beat all of Celeste, didn't you? That is crazy. I will say that I'm very impressed. Like, f as somebody who is very, like, bad at using a controller, like, I can't play very well on controller. I'll play with controllers. I'm not saying I'm against them. I'm just really bad at using them. You 100%... Wait, you already 100%ed Celeste? Wow. Man. <laughs> I don't even know how close I am for that. <laughs> And your Switch Analog Stick still doesn't have Drift. Wow. Monster Kid, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the channel. Sorry, I, I just tabbed off because I don't have my thing showing up properly. <laughs> Goldens don't count towards 100. Okay, it's, okay. That's cool. That's good, at least. That's what 202 is for. Wait, you can get 202% completion in Celeste? Your switch is also goaded because you beat every route in Undertale? Wow, that's crazy. Man, I don't know if... How do people play so well with a just a Joy-Con or an, a, any sort of controller? I just, I can't believe it when I see it. But I know people do it. Like, I've seen it. Do I have TikTok? I do not have TikTok. I've actually just started trying to get into making more like short content. So I'm not, once I get like better at that, I might make a TikTok account. But for now, I'm just going to stick to like my YouTube and I have a Discord if you wanted to join the Discord server. You're getting, thinking of getting Hollow Knight. I actually want to play Hollow Knight potentially on stream or on a YouTube video or something because I, I bought it originally on the Switch just for fun. Um, I wanted to play Hollow Knight, and I really love the game. I never, I haven't beat it yet. I think I got through like 50% of it or so, and now I kind of want to just take it all the way <laughs> on stream. You can proudly say you beat Sandman with the analog stick, as well as Celeste Chapter 9. That is crazy. Guys, how do you do that? <laughs> like, if I play, okay, so... My biggest weakness, I don't know if it's, it, I guess it depends on the game. I think like games like Celeste, I think are a bit easier with an analog stick versus on the computer because I tried playing on a computer and I sucked really bad. But when it comes to like shooter games, I just, I cannot. Oh, we got it. The ominous, but no one came. Oh, that oh, that music is so ominous, dude. You also beat San, Sans Man, Sans Man with analog stick. Breath, uh, Breath of the Wild analog. Oh my gosh, dude. I actually really love that ominous sound. That sounds so cool. Oh. I actually like that. I need that on like a soundboard. Just... You love the Poppy Playtime vid? Thank you. I'm trying to get back into making videos because it's been very busy at work recently. So I've been trying to get more into videos and Poppy Playtime has been one that's been on my list for a while. So I want to actually play chapter two sometime. Maybe tomorrow I might record. So I am expect a new uh, chapter two video to come out soon. Wait, does that just say determination? That's it? Oh. You're new to my channel. I s you sound cool. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm, I'm just kind of, you know, here for fun. I'm not trying to like make a career out of YouTube. So I'm just trying to make, I find like, like I get more into video games when I can have other people to what like, you know, play with, or like, like I said, like having chat or even like recording myself. I like being able to record my first reaction to games. And then if I'm ever like you know, feeling nostalgic, I'll go watch my own videos. Does that sound narcissistic? <laughs> I like to watch my own videos of like things that I played before and I get to see that first reaction that I had again. So like I can rewatch all my Undertale videos now and I get to see how I reacted to everything the first time. Do you smell that? What did you do? Did you fart? Surprise! Butter butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I want you to have a nice time living here. So I will hold off on sna snail pie for tonight. Here, I have another surprise for you. Okay. 
This is it. You started the genocide run yourself, but you stopped in Snowden. Now, did you stop because it was becoming like emotionally difficult to, to see all the, the stuff you've been doing? A room of your own. I hope you like it. Ah, Toriel. It's going to be the hardest one. Is something burning? <gasps> Make yourself at home. Okay. Now, I don't remember if I can collect anything else here. I know, like, I, I've already looked at all this before. Like, I clicked on everything before, I believe. Um, so I don't want to, like, waste too much time doing that. Not gonna lie, you look like a famous YouTuber. If you ever get verified, always remember me. Franklin, I will. You know what? If I ever get verified, I will. We'll see. We'll see. I don't think I'm gonna get to that point, but... Um, hey, can I tell you a secret in the game? Yeah, go for it. I would like to see whatever I can. All I'm saying is, like I said, if I beat Sans, I could win 100% Celeste. If I 100% Celeste, I can beat Path of Pain. Honestly, I will say, if you can play, like, the game, like, Celeste, if you can play all of a Celeste, if you can play Sans and you're playing on your Switch, then, yeah, you can probably play, like, any game as long as it's running well on your Switch. I feel like my my biggest problem when it comes to Switch is sometimes like, because I'm so like used to a PC now, if like it lags, even like FPS lag, I just, I don't like it. So if I go here and sleep, I think I get a butterscotch pie. It's free real estate. <laughs> you are caring too much. Oh no, <laughs> she said this would happen to me. I can just drop one of these, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't, wait, I don't think I needed that. Did, was dropping that a bad thing? <laughs> you found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Well, definitely this is the best thing to have, so. And you play on a max of 30 FPS. Yeah, like some games, don't get me wrong, I can play on 30 FPS, but like I, I play most of my games, especially any high intensity games, using 144. Maybe I'm spoiled now because I've done that, and it's like when I don't see 144, even 60%, it's just like, ugh, to me. But I think that's just my fault. That's my problems. <laughs> you you should frisk dance glitch on the walls. You're gonna get more XP. What what is frisk dance on glitch on the walls? Bandage is useless. Okay, good. I didn't throw away anything good. It's the only game that has common sense that you were full. Yes. It's, it's crazy how many games it's like you can carry. Like I used to play World of Warcraft. I don't know if anyone's played like MMOs or anything like that, but like you can get bags, like you buy a new bag. It's like a backpack or whatever. And inside that bag, you have like a thousand weapons, some mounts, so you have like a whole horse in there. And I'm like, none of this makes sense. Um, I don't think I can actually collect anything in here. I, f I feel like there is, oh, where are the knives? Ooh, Kenan, thank you for subscribing. That's, that's interesting. Wait, so does that mean that there was knives here on the pacifist playlet or on the playthrough, but now they're gone because Toriel doesn't trust us? Is that what that means? Or is that just, for some reason, there is a brand name chocolate bar in the fridge. Now, wh why is there a brand in there? We can't put that in our game. Up already, I see. I think I've already done all this dialogue. Yeah, we're not going to read all this book. I could be missing something. Oh, okay. Yeah, we don't need to task. Frisk Dance gets more encounters. Interesting. What well, I don't even know what the Frisk Dance thing is. What is what is what is that? What console am I playing on? I'm playing on PC. Um I know that typical gamer and uh who what was his name? Kenan. Both of them play on Switch. And apparently they're very good with the Joy-Cons. <laughs> reading all that. If you see any of my content, I suck at reading. And I think I'm the type of gamer who spams the next button. I just noticed, is Toriel crying? When I see her little picture down there, I'm going to try that again. I think she's going to show up again, but look at that little picture down there. Okay, never mind. I thought she was crying. You're going to cook, Toriel, that arsonist. 
Oops, did not mean to do that. Blue soul on the switch is painful. Yeah, because they, they make the jumping directional, right? Instead of it being like a jump button. So it's like you have to hit up to jump, which is really weird on a console, I think, or on like a controller. Frisk dance is the back and forth thing. Is that frisk dancing? Um, okay. I forget how I progress again. Do I go... I, I should have probably read some, some stuff. <laughs> I'm going to be honest. I forget... I should have watched my pacifist playthrough before starting this. Is this still under renovations? It is. You burn Tor Can you actually burn Toriel's house? Is that actually a thing you can do? Go back to the stairs? And like... The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. Okay, I can't actually... Are you are you guys tricking me? Can I... The stove top is very clean. Must use fire magic instead. We know that. Let me go talk to her again. I feel like... Oh, yeah. I think I have to talk to her, right? I just keep saying that same thing over and over again. Okay, so now... You wish you know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I'm going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. This is the moment, guys. This is going to be the hardest thing in this game. Not really, but yes. <laughs> Emotionally, it's going to be hard. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come, they leave, they die. You naive child, if you leave the ruins, they, Asgore, will kill you. Hey, isn't it a thing that when on genocide interacting with shelves displaying the dialogue, nothing useful here? Uh, did I miss that? Maybe I missed it. Hook the arsonist. <laughs> Lorenzo, ruthless here. <laughs> I'm the only protect- uh, I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Man, I suck at reading. Oh my gosh. Go to your room. You're going to notice that if, if you're new to the channel, you're going to see that I'm going to slur over my words a lot. And if you watch any of my videos, I do it all the time. I think I just read too fast, like faster than my brain can comprehend what I'm saying. Do not try to stop me. This is your final warning. I will stop you. You want to leave so badly? Hmm. You are just like the others. There is only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Oh no. Oh my god, I did a lot of damage. You, you really hate me that much? Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you, but them. <laughs> oh. Is that supposed to be a monster soul? Oh. <gasps> Dang. Man, she sucked. She was a one-shot? <laughs> no, that actually... Man, I'm trying to, like, disassociate myself from, like, my last playthrough so that I'm not, like, like, oh my god, everything's it's so hard to do. Like, I'm kind of, like, trying to channel into my inner Chara here. Because, like, every content creator does that, right? They just go, like, oh, no, I can't do this. Dog residue item causes your inventory to fill up completely with dog residue and occasionally some dog salad. Selling all the residue, sal or selling all of the salad at the shop and leave one dog residue um, half coins. Yes, that is definitely something I've done to to farm some money in the pacifist playthrough we've done. Ha ha ha! Merry Christmas, I Alpha. What? <laughs> I. I'm not familiar with the uh, March Christmas or April Christmas that's coming up. 
Or is it the April Fools that you're saying here? <laughs> are you not... You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside, just like me, in fact. You're Chara, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Listen, I have a plan to become all-powerful. Even more powerful than you and your stolen soul. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything, in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. Wow. Yeah, knowing you're on genocide, Toriel's a one-shot. I know that. I was just making a joke, like she's weak. <laughs> Another ones, other ones too. Yeah, I forgot the March Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The April first Christmas. Undertale. It would be cool if like the title was just a little bit different when you were doing genocide. Like, I don't know, like some more blood instead of hearts in the middle or something. That would be so cool. The Merry Halloween. Yes. Man, I should have wore a costume for a merry Halloween. And let's hear it for Flowey the Psychopath. Yes. But what's cool, though, is I like how the dialogue's starting to change now. So I have to be careful and I have to make sure I read things. So is there anything different about this interaction? I think we still meet Sans and Papyrus here. Why did it, like, break after I stepped on it, like, a while ago? That was quite weird, wasn't it? I'm hearing noises. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like just little noises. Oh, there's Sans. Man, honestly, like... I Even just being mean to Sans just feels wrong. Human. Don't you know... How to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> that old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. How can you hide a whoopee cushion in your hand? Like, it would be so obvious, wouldn't it? <laughs> Ali. <laughs> That's, uh, your cue to laugh. Or uh, to emote at all. Gee, lady, you really know how to pick them, huh? Okay, that's fine. Everyone's got their own sense of humor. I'm Sans, Sans the Skeleton. I'm actually supposed to be on watch for humans right now. But, you know... I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through the skate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. That's amazing. Why did I think he was going to say shake my butt? <laughs> well, I mean, he did have a whoopee cushion, so it would make more sense. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. I love this part. Pixel perfect. Uh, okay, I guess you don't have to. Wait. Oh, that's different. Was I supposed to actually move, or...? Sans, have you found a human yet? Yeah. <laughs> really? Wowee! Guess that's settled. What? That worked out, huh? <laughs> Papyrus. I was seeing, like, somebody did a playthrough where they just kill Papyrus, and I'm curious what's different if that happens. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station. But there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Well, I'll be straightforward with you. My brother really liked to see a human. So, you know, it really helped me out if you kept pretending to be one. Pretending? Wait, he knows that it... Oh, 16 left. Man, that's so, like, awesome and, like, eerie at the same time. Yes, we have way too much stuff in our inventory. Um, we're going to get rid of the butterscotch pie for now. Ooh, tough glove. Is that good? I want... I don't actually care about... holding healing items too much. No, Drake. Flutters forth. 
Mm, macaroni and freeze? Now, when you hit, I wonder if like some of these normal fights actually get harder. Yeah, damn, San, Sans called you a monster straight up. Yeah, he like called me out already. Like, pretend to be human. Like, those were his words. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in. All that's attached to it, the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. Whoa. Uh, story of Undertale fell from the light talk, or should I fight monster? <laughs> what, uh, what are you putting in the chat, Franklin? There's so much text. <laughs> Ice cap threatens to view. Can I like one shot him? Oh, I can. Man, this makes some of the things very easy. So, Sans, when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Undertale the musical? That's all from the musical? Man, that's a lot of stuff to read. <laughs> Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Don't you only have one outfit? Yeah, but I could style my hair. Oh, right. <laughs> good idea. <laughs> Say, why don't you look over there? This part's still funny. Oh, I love this part. Dance? Oh my god. <laughs> I'm dizzy. What am I looking at? Beholds. A rock? Oh my god! Why are you- <laughs> Why are you telling me to look at a rock? Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Wait, so this- this dialogue's already slightly different. This papyrus, you don't have any hair, stop lacking yet. <laughs> oh my god, I have no idea what that is. Well, it's not a rock. Not a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination, that means it's a human. <laughs> Ahem, human. Prepare yourself for hijinks, for lowjinks, dangers, puzzles, capers, japers, being captured, and other sorts of fun activities. Refreshments will be provided if you dare. <laughs> yeah, man, put the entire lyrics on chat. Yeah, I don't want to try reading that because I already told you how bad I am at reading and if it's lyrics to a musical, I'm going to butcher it. <laughs> I'm going to destroy it. Can I, can I play Baldi's Basic? I can, actually. I will have to remember to put that down. I should write that down somewhere. Isn't that another um, type of uh, game? Or Oh man, I realize that I can't easily type. Baldi's Basic. I'm gonna write this down so I can like make sure I don't forget this game for later. All right, we're back. Oh, and you don't even bat an eye, huh? Man, the, the little like comments, the witty comments from Sans kind of hurts, man. We used to be friends. Yeah, I'm ready to see it all burn. Lesser dog appeared. Oh, all the doggos, man. I have to destroy them. Destroy that in which we love. Now, out of everybody in chat right now, who is like a dog or a cat person? Or are you like me and you don't care? You like both? Because I feel like it's always like people ask you, are you a dog person or a cat person? And I'm just like, I have a cat, but I love dogs too. I'm not like against having either. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. Hey, I can't stop shivering all of a sudden. Whoa, who's there? Man, you love both? Yes. See, I I, I want to end that like people saying like, oh, I, I, I'm, you can only be one or the other. I understand some people are just, you know, cat people or just dog people, and that's totally fine too. But it's like, why do you have to have a preference to one or the other? Like, if I like cats, or if I have a cat, doesn't mean I don't like dogs, but it means I mo most likely won't get a dog while I have a cat, because, you know, it'd be mean to, unless your cat's used to being with dogs, right? Doggo can't seem to find anything. Ooh. You won. 
of course, my love increased. Man, just like once we get rid of everybody, it's going to feel so empty. Go up here. Hello, I am a snowman. I cannot move. Traveler, if you could. Uh, you got the snowman piece. He didn't even say the whole thing. Did I skip it or like... Dude, there's like small little differences of dialogue. You have both, so yeah, both. See what I mean? Like, yeah, I love... It's nice seeing like when people have both or when people are say... Like, even if you don't have to have both, but you, you know you love both, right? Snowman item is healing OP. Really? I think I accidentally ate it in my pacifist play playthrough and I had to just reset because I felt bad. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. <laughs> excuses, excuses. Oh, oh, huh. the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible... Uh... Hmm, you must be having culture shock. You see, where I come from, it's a loving tradition to suffer through horrible puzzles for no reason. So, uh, just walk back there and... Oh my gosh, this is so weird. <sighs> Why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? Whoa, that was weird. Oh, should I, I should have talked to Sans. Oh well. I always mess that up where if I go to the next area. Um, I don't have to do this, though. What was this for again? I don't remember what this, e this is even for. We get this in the... We, we get... Yay! That was for nothing. Okay. <laughs> Good to know. It's a snowball. I can't pick it up. Let me go up here. I have to make sure I... I actually interact with as much as I can because if I miss attacking something his hers smell danger rating snow smell snowman white rating can become yellow rating unsuspicious smell puppy blue rating smell of rolling around oh this is to teach you how to do the other thing do I do you, do I need help or do you I, me, me reading the message it's gonna makes it very confusing I don't think you need help. Do I need help? Maybe. Human, I hope you're ready for... Pans, where's the puzzle? It's right there. On the ground. Trust me, there's no way they'll skip this one. What if I just walk by it? Sans, that did nothing! <laughs> Whoops. Knew I should have put down Junior Jumble instead. What? Junior Jumble? Finally, something we can both agree on. <laughs> Whoa, he's actually like, everything's different. I guess despite all that, you still like word searches, huh? That means you can't be all bad. 13 left. I have to make sure before I leave this area. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, this spaghetti is a trap designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Truly japped again by the great papyrus. <laughs> papyrus. Okay. Um, I need to make sure that I encounter legitimately everything. Oh. The switch. It's been depressed with vines. I don't know if I need to do anything for that. Okay. Get rid of this guy first. Well, can you give me a ride home? Actually, wait. Jerry doesn't go away, right? Yeah, I don't think I can actually beat this guy. This guy's strong. The Wi-Fi here sucks. Go home, Jerry. Dan's is Ness? I don't know much about Ness. Is that like... I, I'm assuming you're referring to Ness the character from whatever video game he's from. <laughs> well, you can give me a ride home. Can I actually beat this guy? I thought he usually, like, leaves after a while. I guess you have to spare them, right? So if I don't spare him, he just basically takes it. Oops, that was horrible. 
swear, sometimes I spam the button and then it just works against me. Did I hear that Sans is nest? Apparently! Oh yeah, this is a, like a map, right? Oh, <laughs> you want to see my head dent? What? <laughs> oh, I have to bait these guys. I can take my headphones off for a sec. Are you satisfied? I know, like, I don't know if you're referring to the dent when I play VR, because that happens. What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, it, identify yourself. You want to see my, oh, you want to see like my profile? Is that what you're asking? Or my hair like dent from the headphones? Makes me want to eliminate you. I feel like I'm going to prison and I'm getting my, my, uh, uh, what is it? The snapshots that they do for you is like turn to the side, make sure they get your profile. You want to see my hair dent? Okay. How's that? Is that easy to see? <laughs> I feel like I'm in prison. <laughs> turn to the side, turn to the other side. I swear I'm innocent. I did nothing wrong. Okay, doggy assault you? Okay. Man, this is. This is mean. Take my wife's. Oh, please. I thought he was about to say, take my wife. Like, instead of him. I was going to say, dude, that's not very nice. Don't touch my hot dog. <laughs> Ew. I wouldn't dream of it. Well, they are supposed to be like lovers, right? Why did it look like they're kissing? That's why. And here's there goes one of them. Kneel and suffer. Okay, now she's gonna be mad. Oh, oh man, I tried to go fast and it went too fast. I thought it was gonna be faster. I mean, I have like so much HP, like it's not even a problem. It's only going to be the later fight that's going to be like really bad. I can see why like certain healing items would be so good later. Dude, all these puzzles are just not even like set up. Obviously, okay, I need to make sure I don't progress. I want to go, go back to my guide for a second here. I, I don't think it's easy to progress past a certain point. But just in case, I want to make sure I don't get like, where's the end to where it's like the progress stops? Papyrus, I think it's yeah, when we fight Papyrus. Hey, it's a human. You're going to love this puzzle. It was made by the greats. Are you serious? Sans, help. They keep walking through my puzzles. They're supposed to let me explain them, then threaten and baffle them with dangerous Japs. Well, maybe they don't like Japs. Everyone likes Japs. <laughs> what about Undyne? She, doesn't she hate puzzles? She hates puzzles, but she loves Japs. <laughs> that makes sense. Human, what do you think? Puzzles or Japs? Okay, this is normally the part where you either agree or disagree. And depending on your answer, we say something great in response. Here, why don't you do the puzzle yourself? Oh no, he's just given up. It's eligible chicken scratch. Hey, puzzles might be fun if you tried them. Oh man, it's so weird. On the floor inside a box of palm raisins. Okay, how many left do we have? 11. Let's see if I can remember that number instead of having to check all the time. Um, I don't think there's anything down here. Yeah, it's just the snowman that they made. Is this puzzle done? Yes, we don't even have to do it. 
Welcome to the underground, Sans. Give us your balls. <laughs> I want to read that. <laughs> yeah, the puzzles won't work. Ooh, Sans is here. What's up? And he's this is like the same part again. I think we have to go over here, though, right? Say, are you following me? Because isn't there something to encounter here? Or does that not spawn? Isn't there like a specific creature that you encounter here? I guess not. You, uh, let me see. Okay, I, I maybe have to come back here? I know there's supposed to be a, uh, what is it called? It's like that deer that has like the presence on its head. I know to, that you had to like spare it before by taking the, the stuff off. Just skip all this text. I, I really hope if somebody like hasn't seen Undertale to not watch this just because I don't want them to like jump into this and I'm skipping all the text, but I don't want to just re reread all of it over again. Okay, here's the the doggo, the greater dog. Oh my gosh, we do so much damage. Wow, 80 experience from that, too. Papyrus is going to be tough, a tough one to fight. Yeah, I was reading he's like similar to the he like the actual fight duration, because I have a guide to my side here is the fight duration is about the same between sparing him and not. So we should have 10 left now, right? There's nothing that you can encounter in here, right? I hope I'm not missing something. I know that I can't get in the door. I'm not going to even go for that. I'm not that crazy. Basically, you have to beat the game and then do the credits without getting hit or hitting any of the credits, which is crazy. Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any, like, obvious encounters. Must be bigger on the inside. Yeah, because the greater doggo is huge. I think I can keep pre proceeding. I don't think, um, I think the whole Snowden area counts as one place. Human, this is your final and most dangerous challenge. Behold, the gauntlet of deadly terror. How is this going to work? Because before Papyrus stopped doing this, when I say the word, it will fully activate. Cannons will fire, spikes will swing, blades will slice. Each part will swing violently up and down. Only the tiniest chance of victory will remain. Are you ready? Because I am about to do it. I like how there's a dog attached to a string. Well, what's the hold up? Hold up? What hold up? I'm I'm about to activate it now. No, it isn't. Are you talking about the papyrus fight? That uh, doesn't look very activated. Well. They're probably going to walk through it, and it won't be any fun at all. Hmm, so this human thing was a bust, huh? Well, I mean, I'm excited to capture them, so I'll become a famous royal guardsman. But all the time I put into these puzzles, it's kind of like throwing a birthday party. Without traps and fire? <laughs> exactly! It's pointless. Maybe you were right to, to be lazy about puzzles. Me? Right about something? Really? Yeah, what am I saying? You're still completely wrong. I just have the wrong audience. Think about how much fun Undyne would have, have here. Flames, violence, it's right up her alley. So I won't waste this puzzle on you. I just have to appreciate the friend I already have. Phew. I'm talking about any intermediates between you and the boss fight in each world. A valuable life lesson. <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the fights are going to all be different, but I think it's about the same duration. Hmm, guess we didn't need your help to have a good time after all. Say, I've been thinking. See, seems like you're going to fight my brother pretty soon. 
he's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're going to have a bad time. Ooh. Hey, I'm making a game called Banky and the Daycare coming to Game Jolt soon or more time when it comes out. Uh, I would like you to play it. Sure, I'll check it out. Just, yeah, you can uh, comment on uh, on any video or obviously in chat when it's ready and I'll check it out. You said Banky on Game Jolt. I'll write that down too before. Of course, I have to change my keyboard every time. Banky. Yeah, that would be cool. I'd love to check out that game. Okay, let's move on. So we're starting to see what sand like that Sans has a dark, not a darker side, like more to him than what you notice in the pacifist playthrough. Eleven left. Oh, I still have eleven left because the it's eleven random encounters. Okay. Um. I did save, right? Yeah. Now, I think I can go into some of these places. Are they going to be more desolate now? Oh, I don't want to buy, I don't think. Is there anything worth buying here? I don't think there is. Buy now, come again? Nah. Did I come into this building before? This looks new. Welcome to Snowden Inn. Or Snowed Inn. Snowden's premier hotel. One night is 80 gold. Oh, I must have come in here and just said no. Mom says that sleeping can recover your health above your maximum HP. What's maximum HP? <laughs> okay, no, we still see a bunch of people here, so that's good. There's still people in here? Less. Because we killed them. Oh, yeah, that's true. Okay, okay. Um, let's go up here. I think one of these areas... I don't want to fight Papyrus yet. I think Papyrus is the last thing I have to do. This is where the boat spawns. Hmm. This big guy just throwing ice in the water. Uh, okay, so I need to make sure I still get random encounters, which I don't think I can do in this area. So I might have to go back. Where does it say? Okay. Yeah, I think I have to go back. I'm not entirely sure. I just want to make sure I don't mess this up. So maybe I should go go back and try to get random encounters for the 11 more first. Uh, bro, I was playing Delta Rune one time at a park on my Switch and some random kid said it was a furry. He was talking about Susie. I don't know Delta Rune. That's another game I have to play on the list, but yeah, that's just that's just kids being kids. Ooh, does this count as three if I get all of these guys? I hope so. Daddy, I need to... Oops, I should not have hit Jerry. Jerry's a tanky boy. I need to hit Snow Drake. Oh, I'm cornered. Okay, let's hit... Or the Chill Drake guy. Why does he Snow Drake? All right, we'll get rid of this guy now. And now Jerry will be an easier one. Wait, did I get new gear or something and I just forgot to equip it? Or did I equip it? I feel like I got new gear at some point. Man, Jerry is uh, very annoying. <laughs> At least it's an easy one. There's nothing to dodge. I showed him Sans on my phone. He said, Mr. Bony Smile. 
I mean, he's not wrong. You earned 40 experience and 90 gold. That's pretty good. Now, I want to save again to see if it tells me... I don't want to go all the way back. <laughs> I want to see if that gave me three, but I think we will. Oh, wow. Shut your trap, Jerry. That's how I'm feeling, man. <laughs> takes a while to just keep hitting him for nines. For, like, a non-boss or anything, you know? Let me go check to see if I still encounter that uh, thing down here. Doesn't... I swear I just always encountered it on the past fist playthrough. So I'm just... I just want to make sure it doesn't... Oh, there he is! The gift rod! That's who I was talking about. Oops. Man, I, I'm so worried about some of these upcoming fights because it's like I'm just trying to like see how good I can dodge some of these and some of these I'm doing horrible. This is going to be so interesting when we actually get to the difficult fights. Because these are going to be the hardest fights in the whole game. Like nothing I've done so far can be comparable. So we got the gift trot. I'm assuming that's four then. So maybe we just keep running back and forth on this bridge, maybe. <laughs> chill, chill out. The bosses are waiting for you when you get there. Yeah, but I need to be ready, you know? Oh, no, it's another Jerry. Oh, I keep hitting... I keep accidentally hitting Jerry. No, no, I don't want to dodge anything. That requires effort. I mean, I will say that a lot of these fights are just way easier playing Genocide Route than talking. You can spare him, right? But I feel like that's a waste because you have to still beat like a certain amount of, of uh, enemies. Or do you mean hit Jerry first? Because that does not seem like a good play. Or does he, does he take less damage when everyone's gone? I didn't think so. Good riddance, Jerry. <laughs> yeah, leave. Man, when I was doing the pacifist playthrough the first time, when I accidentally hit fight, which did happen sometimes because I spam click a lot, and I, like, I saw the fight screen for the very first time. I'm like, what the heck is that? I'm like, did I just r ruin my run? But you have to hit enter on it. So, so that is three plus three, six, seven. So we need four more, I think. I think. So if we get four more, that should get us to the 11 that we need. We'll know, though. If we just keep running back and forth, it will tell us nobody came, right? So we'll know We'll know for sure once we've finished Snowden. And then I think we just have to go and uh, fight Papyrus. Which could be the first fight that I actually struggle a little bit on. I don't know if it will be or not, because we have a lot more HP than, than normal. But... Man, this is always the most boring part. Just running back and forth. Am I not getting any more here? Man, it really feel it makes you feel like you're not doing it right. But I swear, like if you can run into random encounters here at least once, it should keep happening, right? Is that really how it works? It's, it seems like it's the opposite logic, because if he takes forever to get rid of... Because the rest is easy to take out, so you have to dodge more attacks the more that's on the screen at once. That doesn't... I'll try it, but I feel like that's just not right. I just need to have more encounters. If only it was an emulator and I could like go at two times speed or something. 
and just keep running back and forth. That's how I play Pokemon anymore. Hey, Jerry. Okay, so you say beat Jerry first. See, but it, he still tanks so much damage, right? But now I have to dodge every single time I hit. See what I mean? It's just, it makes it harder. Because now I have to dodge every time. It's actually slower, too. Whoa, oh, I almost just, like, nearly dodged that. But if I take out this guy, which... I can do in one hit. Now it's like Jerry doesn't have an attack. See, now I just do this over and over and over again. I'm pretty sure that's the play. Man, these Jerry's. I feel like this is the tedious part about this run, is I have to just run through back and forth, back and forth, until we actually get somebody to show up. And the Jerry's. <laughs> no, don't, no need to apologize, man. I don't mind trying out different techniques because who knows, maybe if you hit Jerry first while there's other guys, he, he, you know, you get him first. Maybe he takes more damage, but no need to apologize. It's always good. Like, I'll take any advice and I'll try it. If, if I don't want to try it, that's a different thing, but I appreciate any and all advice. Doesn't mean I'll take it all the time, but I'll, I don't mind once in a while. All right. The tedious part is once again here. I think we just need two more. So I'm hoping that uh, this is going to randomly show up on this bridge. <laughs> I don't know if this is the best way to encounter, but it's the only place I know I can get encounters. And they've been giving me like two or three, which is, I think, faster than any single encounters that I get. So I think after we do this, we have to fight Papyrus. I think that's the last step of this area. So that's going to be interesting. I, didn't, I don't know how far we'll actually get this stream. We're an hour and a half in, so at least another hour and a half. We might get pretty far. Ooh, two. Yes, we got two here. Ice cap first. Get rid of him. And now it's just Jerry again. Oh my gosh. Whoops. When I do that, it just makes it even slower. Man, it's it feels like a, a completely different game when you play Genocide Route. Because you, you're, you know, you're doing a completely different mechanic because you're actually doing the fight now. But like, a lot of the, like the story, I guess, like learning about the different um, creatures, you don't do that in this run. You think y'all get to Undyne? Okay. I feel like, okay, so I know for a fact that Undyne and Sans are like some of the hardest fights in this mode. So if I get to Undyne, there's a good chance I'm not going to get past it this stream. Just going to say that now. Um, I will do my best, I swear. Doesn't mean it's going to happen. Okay, that should now be it. So I'm going to run back to a save here and see if it says... Termination? Yeah, that's it. Um, okay, so there, we did it. Look at everyone's gone here now. Oh, and just the striped, striped shirt kid here. Yo, everyone ran away and hid somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes, haha. <laughs> Don't they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Ooh. Yeah, music changed and snowed in. We have to get rid of Papyrus. Oh, no. Man, getting rid of some of the main characters from the, the pacifist run is like, it just feels weird, you know? Like, I know, I know it's a different run. I know that's kind of what we're kind of channeling into, but it still feels different, you know?
Halt, human. Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you. I, the Great Papyrus, have some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo. Not only do you not like puzzles, but the way you shamble about from place to place, the way you, your hands are always covered in dusty powder, it feels like your life is going down a dangerous path. However, I, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. <laughs> hey, quit moving. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Human, I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on a straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowee, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. Oh no. <laughs> Well, that's not what I expected. But, still, I believe in you. You can do a little better, even if you don't think so. I, I promise. Wait, that's not the end, right? I actually have to fight Papyrus, right? Wait, that's not it, is it? There's more. There's definitely more. Like, this, this isn't it. Wait, but I'm in a new area now. That's it? Yo, are you sneaking out of here too? Or to- <laughs> Are you sneaking out to see her too? See what I mean? My brain just does not read right. Awesome, she's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, don't let my parents- Or don't tell my parents I'm here. Haha. <laughs> so this kid, because he's a kid, he's, he's innocent, right? So it's like he doesn't realize that we're kind of just... Not a nice person. I'll take one of these monster candies with me. Um, what was down here? Is this if you fall? This isn't important, is it? I know it's important for, like, story, like, lore, but I don't need to see that. This is a box. You can put an item and take it an item out. Why would you, though? You can't use items when they're in the box. Sincerely, a box hater. That, that is an underwhelming fall for a great character. That is! I thought you actually had to fight Papyrus! Wait a minute, what? Undyne. Rex! Hey! Welcome to the stream! This is getting very ominous. It's honestly... Uh-oh. This is normally when she's talking with Papyrus. Oh no, this is going to be the hardest fight that I've ever done. Oh man. Yo, did you see that way she was staring at you? That was awesome. I'm so jealous. She was just standing there waiting forever and then you just... Come on, let's go watch her beat up some bad guys. Aw oh, man. We're gonna have to do something mean related to him, which I'm, I feel very bad. Happy Easter, Rex! I'd, I can't believe I didn't even say Happy Easter at all this stream. It's not really an easter theme stream because we're playing Undertale Genocide, so not the best thing to play, but... Happy Easter for anyone who celebrates it. I almost forgot it was Easter. The only reason why I know is because I have the time off from work. Oh, go, go back to the gushing waterfall? Oh, did I miss something? Sure, I will, I'll beat up this Aaron guy. 
go back to the Cushing Waterfall. This one? No, the one back, right? Yeah, it's just teaching me how to do that, which I don't need to do. Go back here now? There's a weapon that will cook undying. Oh yeah, I found this on my pacifist playthrough. A tutu. I actually totally forgot about that. I I literally looked for that and I found it in my pacifist run, but I just forgot about it. So thank you for reminding me. This gives you, yeah, 10 armor. That's actually going to be a huge buff to what we have right now. Because what did we have before? We had this, which was four, three. Oh gosh, yeah, that's huge. That's going to be huge. Because our health pool is also a lot bigger in this playthrough. So like every hit taking less damage is amazing. Thank you so much, Lorenzo. I appreciate it. Okay, so... Um, I know there there was like a secret over here. I don't know if it's worth doing that right now. Was it? No, it was like this, right? If you throw them like this. I'm going to just do it just in case. Oh, there's also another weapon, you mean? I mean, that's definitely going to help. You forgot about the tutu? Well, you knew there was an item there. What was over here again? Oh, it's just lore, isn't it? Oh, it's a, it's a quiche. Yeah, take it. That's good. The ballet shoes. Man, I think I, I, I got all these things when I played it before. I'm just trying to remember now <laughs> where everything was located. If I miss it, tell me. I will go back. Wait, was there something to look for here? Oh, check wall. Oh, yeah. I remember this. You know what I'm sad about? The one thing I was really excited about with this playthrough specifically was being able to beat up Vegetoids specifically because my first playthrough, they were so annoying. And I didn't see a single one in the ruins. I am so sad. I really wanted to beat up a Vegetoid. Wait, check the wall. Is this the? I feel like this is the right way. I don't want to go that way. Oh yeah, there was like something on the wall, right? Somewhere. Or is it up in the tunnel up there? Man. Man, it's crazy when you can one-shot some of these guys. I don't know which wall that wants me to actually check. Is it the wall up there? Is it the wall down here? I don't remember this one before. Man, all the wait, are all these flowers silent? Oh, I just noticed that. The gaping hole. Wait, this wall. Was that not there before like on the pacifist run and at the because I wait, ran up here and I was like, is this the right way to go? I don't want to go this way if it's the right way, you know? If I go on this platform, though, isn't that progressing? Well, the ballet shoes are below where he he was. Or sans the telescope. Oh, yes, I remember that room. Yes, yes. Okay, I will try to remember that. This is, yeah, this is the second Undying encounter. Is this harder? It'd be cooler if, if they made it a little bit harder on genocide. Because you cut, you. I mean, I guess they don't have to make things harder. Oh. Oh, wow. I actually dodged that pretty decently. Oh, I should have done better there.
I realized I should have healed. <laughs> well, you gotta go. We gotta get up at 6 a.m. Good game and goodbye. See you, Alan. Thank you for stopping by. You're always welcome. Um, and yeah, if you wanted to finish the stream later, you can always watch it later, but you don't have to. Just so you can see, I'll probably get owned on this Undyne fight, so... <laughs> Oh man, I'm kind of nervous for this fight. I'm really hoping that it doesn't take me too long, but some people said that it took them like hours, like three hours to, I don't know if that's just to beat the game or to beat like individual fights. Yo, did you see that? Undyne just touched me. <laughs> I'm never, never washing my face ever again. Man, are you unlucky? If you were standing just a little bit to the left, you, yo, don't worry. I'm sure we'll see her again. Okay, we still need 14, though. So we have to make sure we don't finish this. Does this, is this different? Jeez, I've been here so long. A magical crystal has grown around it. Okay. I think that was always like that. I'm just, just trying to make sure I don't miss too much. Okay, yeah, that's the Sands Telescope. So it's here. Um, should probably just get rid of some of this stuff. Oh, what's this? Oh, the punch cards thing. This is where the hot dog guy normally is. The ancient glyphs have been painted over with a list of 21 different flavors. That's funny. Man. Wait, she said it's on the left below in the bush. Um. Okay, so on the left side, I got to go below. It's in a bush, apparently. I'm going to see if I can find it again. If I miss it, just let... Oh, yeah, it's down here, right? I think it's here. A pair of ballet shoes. Yes. Okay. So this here gives you eight or sorry, seven attack. And what we have now is probably way worse than that. Let's see. Item. What we had before was four attack. Three attack. Yeah, so it's, it's another big bump. Take it to Cook Undyne. Yes, that's the goal. Okay, I don't remember if there's anything else I need to do in this, because I know we don't have any puzzles anymore, so we don't have to worry about solving any puzzles. But I don't exactly remember. We just need to make sure we encounter stuff. Whoa. Wait, there's three things now? That's new. I was not expecting that. Okay, so now that we have a stronger item, we hit three times? Or I don't know how that works, but we have to hit three skill checks. Okay. I don't know if that's the right wording for them, but I call them skill checks because I've played a game called Dead by Daylight before, and that's basically you have like a little circle thing you had to hit when you're working on generators. Oh my gosh, dude. I'm just like one shot in these things now. The northern room hides a great treasure. Now, I don't remember, but this treasure wasn't worth it, right? It was just like a, a thing that a dog takes anyways like the moment you unlock it. So I don't think this is even worth it. If you get the burnt pan in the hotland, it will have four of those lines. Oh, okay. When we get to hotland, I'll have to check it out. <clears throat> Siren, Shiren is rare to get. Really? I didn't know that. Should we take an umbrella? I don't know if this is, um even important for what we're doing here. I feel like I don't want to take one. Eh, we'll just take one. We're supposed to be selfish here, right? 
Same with the empty gun. Ah. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome. Let's go. <laughs> Even under the umbrella. Nah, dude, this is my umbrella. Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night, knowing she was going to beat me up. Haha. <laughs> She is the one that I'm kind of worried about right now. And then once I beat her, it's going to be Sans because I know he's the hardest fight in the whole game. So one time we had a school project where we had to take care of a flower. The king, we had to call him, Mr. Dreamer, volunteered to donate his own flowers. He ended up coming to school and teaching the class about responsibility and stuff. That got me thinking, yo, how cool would it be if Undyne came to the school? She could beat up all the teachers. Yes, yeah, it's the same conversation as last time. Yeah, she's, maybe she wouldn't beat up the teachers because they're innocent. She only beats up bad guys. What? <laughs> He's just like stopped. Oh, I guess I have to put this back now. So I think I have to interact with him now. Yo, you want to see Undyne, right? Climb on my shoulders. Ow, you try being a little less rough, haha. <laughs> anyway, I'll look for another way through later. Wow, we weren't even nice when the guy was trying to be nice to us. We we're just like stepping on him with our cleats or something. So I need to make sure I encounter enough though, and I want to make sure I don't go too far to where I can't encounter enough. So in the waterfall place, where is the last place I can go before I need to... So we do this part, we go down there. Oh yeah, there's the whole Temi village area. I, I totally forgot about that. We should be fine for a while. Um, I did heal, right? Yes, I did. We have the whole Temi village and everything. That whole area. Frisk dance? Oh, how do I do that? How do I actually do the frisk dance? Just doing like going like this to encounter more? I think I can't do it right now, but I'll do that after this area. I think just spamming is what you're saying works. Yeah, I can't do it here. I can't do it here. I don't remember which, which pathway is the correct one. Oh, they're both the same. Ah, uh, these are all the wrong pathway. Where am I supposed to go? <laughs> oh no. I don't remember this. Oh. That was not good. Oh. Oh, I I did I just didn't I could have dodged that. I was just being dumb, I guess. Nice. Yo, just go back and forth for real. Yeah, yeah. Also, you're a monster. You deserve the boss fight that's coming. Don't worry, I deserved it too. <laughs> Gods be like, yeah. I can I I understand. I'm playing this playthrough just because I want to know how it goes. I'm not doing it because I enjoy it. But it it's cool to see the differences. Like you have to appreciate the effort that was put into this game to even have this as an option to play. Like, there's so little details. Like, apparently, if you go through the whole game and you just kill Papyrus, there's like different um, quotes that happen at the end. I don't know how much is different, but I know there are some quotes that happen. Womp womp. 
It sounds like it came from over here. Oh, you've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Shara, huh? That's a nice name. <laughs> My name is... Yeah, there's multiple endings. Yeah, it's crazy. Like, I understand a lot of games have that implemented, but like a game like Undertale, I feel like it's just, it's an indie game that someone put so much effort into and it's just amazing. Okay, we still need 11. So I'm going to do this dummy fight here. I think there's a dummy here, right? Yeah, if we don't interact with it, he just like attacks us. <laughs> so good. Haha, <laughs> it's just like you to run away. I am a ghost that lives inside a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. Not only did your actics cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbors are gone too. Despicable. 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 You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. Ugh. My mannequin levels are going off the charts. This, this feeling, Eureka, 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 human, that move, moment of unbridled emotion. It allowed me to finally fuse with my body. I'm fully corporeal now. My lifelong dream realized in return, I guess I won't stop you. How's that sound? Wait, so he's not, cor he's corporeal now. So now I can just hit him. He's happy. Oh my gosh. Toby Fox, you are a mean, mean person. <laughs> Just like, here's a guy that used to be hard to, to fight. Let's just beat him up. Okay, let's see what's different here. There's nothing here. All the snails are gone. Oh no. Can I even go into NASA Blick's house? Oh, he's not here. Oh, dudes, everyone's gone. To be fair, we are basically just like murdering everyone. Like no one would want to be around that. Oh, it's this guy. Ah, we don't need to buy anything. Wait, there was there was one good item here, right? I don't know if this even matters, but there was like the torn notebook. Oh, but it's two attack. It's not good. It's not good. Heals 10 HP. Speed up in battle. Nah, I don't even think that's worth, honestly. It was more worth it on, on uh, Pacifist Run. They're running away from you. That's what gets harder to find encounters as the game goes on. Listen to what the turtle says. Oh, I didn't even read what he said. Yeah, let's see what he said. Wow, so you came here. What a treat. Okay. Wait, fate, threat, fight, hero? Long ago, Asgore and I agreed that escaping would be pointless. Since once we left, humans would just kill us. I felt a little betrayed when he eventually changed his mind. But now I think maybe he was right too. Because after all, even though we never escaped, a human killing us anyway ain't that right. That's true. I've lived too long to be afraid of something like you. Try it, kiddo. I know you can't hear. Why? <laughs> Knowledge like that is the only reason I've survived so long. Eh, fight you? Nah, I'm not a hero. Never was. And besides, these old bones aren't fit for fighting anywho. One attack from you and then I'd, well, at least by talking to you, I've bought enough time for some of them to escape. Oh my gosh. I'm not a hero, but I know there's someone out there. Someone who'll n never give up trying to do the right thing no matter what. There's no prophecy or legend about anyone like that. It's just something I know is true. That something or that someone like that will strike you down. Yeah, that symbol behind him is the Delta Rune, right? Is it different on this playthrough? I think it's the same. Okay, so we need more more encounters. Hurt, beaten, fearful for our lives. We surrendered to the humans. So the greatest magician sealed us underground. I think these are all the same. Yeah. 
the hero is the next boss fight. Yes. Oh, Temmy. Oh no, Temmy. Oh man, the Temmy village is just going to be so like... I think like this is what people said is to get more encounters. It's the Dreamer Crest. Is that what that is? Oh. Okay. Oh, that was almost perfect. Wow. So if I do this, I think it's like faster encounters or something. I don't know how how true that is. I mean, it seems to be a little bit faster than what I was doing before. Oh, man. Easy to dodge. Yeah, just do that. Yeah, I'll just do that. We, we only have a couple left anyways. Of course, this Undyne fight is going to be... I have no idea what it's going to be like. Okay. I'm probably going to be very quiet during the Undyne fight if I'm focusing so much. Yeah, but as more monsters die, the encounters become rare because they're running away. Yeah, that makes sense. I was going to say, like, I think, like, they also implement that in the game because they don't want Genocide Route to be an obvious route to go, right? So, like, if you're playing through naturally and you don't know of the Genocide Route, especially if you're in, like, the ruins, right? You're not going to be like, oh, I need to, you know, make sure that I clear out as many as I possibly can. So it's like it's it's a kind of like a two birds with one stone type situation. They do two things by making the game like that. Oof. Oh man, what? The genocide route is supposed to be incredibly boring. Yeah, it's not supposed to be something you do. Yeah, yeah, you can't say you did it because it was fun. Exactly. You do it because you want to experience this different uh, story, right? Like, you have to almost do it intentionally. Like, there's there's no way to accidentally do it. Yeah, you have no excuse. Exactly. It's so poetic in a way. It's like, yeah, they're just like, yeah, you you just basically have to go through and do everything that you were taught not to do from the first time you played. If you do the pacifist first, which, again, you have to intentionally do genocide. So most of the time you will be doing pacifist first. If you do this run, it's your fault. You, the player. Yes. Exactly. Ooh. I gotta be close. How many has that been now? Maybe like seven? And I needed to do eleven, so I might need like uh four more. Three or four more. If I'm if I'm counting right, it's four more, but I could be just counting wrong. <laughs> it is really cool to think about though. Just the way they, they set this game up. <clears throat> yeah, that's why there's no puzzles, barely any character interactions, and 90% of it is just walking back and forth. Exactly. They don't want it to be something that's like, oh yeah, this is so much fun, you do this. <laughs> yeah, like even just sitting here, just like spamming left and right, it's like, what am I really doing? How did I miss? That was just... It's where sometimes I like push the button, but it just doesn't work. There we go. Okay, I was going to say, I really hope we don't like lose too much health here. 
Also, I hope it's not too boring for some people to watch. I don't think we've we spent too much time walking around and I try to fill all the boring time with like just talking. So hopefully it's not too boring and we're about to hit one of the hardest fights, which <clears throat> it might be the rest of the stream. We'll see. I don't know. I feel like I've had good like I've had moments when I've played games where it's like I've done some really good stuff like um, I beat like all of the not the DLC portion, but like the whole original game of Cuphead. I beat all of the bosses on expert. <clears throat> so it's like. I, I have some skills that can come out randomly and, and do things that are really good, but it's not something I can do consistently. So <laughs> yeah, the part coming up should be really fun. I hope so. I hope so. I hope it's not just something that's super tedious, you know? I know that I won't rage because I'm not really that the raging kind of gamer. But oh wait, that that's it. But nobody came. We did it. And now it's just going to keep spamming with this. And not for you, for us. Yes, that, that's, that is accurate. That is very accurate. I, I'm hoping it's fu a little fun for me, you know? <laughs> More so fun if I like achieve it, right? Um. <clears throat> oh, I have to go back. What did I do wrong here? Oh, I have to go back. Yeah, to that one now. But nobody came. This is uh quite ominous. Wait a minute. I can't even go to Temi Village, eh? Is that not possible? Wait a minute. Is it actually not possible to go to Temi Village? Oh, okay, it's here. I Did I miss it? Or did I have to light that other one? That's why. Yeah, it still sounds so ominous. I just needed to save. Okay, welcome to the Tem shop. All you can buy is Tem flakes. Can I sell stuff? Oh, I can sell this knife. Okay. Okay, <laughs> say hello. Hoi, I'm Temmy. That's all they say, okay. Oh, dude, this this scary guy is still here. Feeling like you're being watched. You don't deserve the armor. Yeah, I, I know. I didn't even get the armor in the pacifist playthrough. I didn't get enough money for it. Yes, the fight shouldn't be easy, and I agree with that. Nobody came. Um, okay, wait, I didn't even see what items I have. I have like a couple healing items, so those might be okay. We'll see. I think we'll get another save before we actually do the boss fight, but I don't know if we'll get access to our um, box. Oh. This is the moment you need more. Do I need more? I have more in my box, but I... You recommend the what? The keys. Oh, what? Sh Wait, where do you get the tea from? Oh, it's from the turtle. Uh, okay, you know what? I, I don't want to have to, like, you know, try out the boss fight, find out it's really annoyingly difficult and then and then like you know have to go back so let's go buy some of the teas from the turtle why would the turtle want to sell me something that actually helps me okay we'll buy a couple teas um i think that's it i think that's all we'll buy i don't think it's it's worth getting a different item that's less defense or less attack for the iframes or the extra iframes. I like how it, it also increases how frequently you encounter stuff when it's just nobody, but nobody came. 
It does that very often. Okay, so this one heals 10. This thing, the CT, right? Okay, we'll buy like four. How's that? Yeah, okay. That's That fills our inventory, so that should be good. That should be good. But nobody came. Okay, okay. How does that work? So it's like in a don't take a lot of teas. Like in my in my inventory space. Yeah, they only heal 10. They're only for the speed, I assume. But I don't know how many items I intend on using. I have the abandoned quiche, monster candy, and snowman piece. This heals 45. Um, how much does the monster candy heal? Oh, that only heals 10. That's bad. This heals 34. Use three. Yeah, I must get rid of that. That What other items do I have, though? Yeah, the teas aren't for health. I see that. And obviously the monster candy is kind of just garbage, too. So I might as well just sell these monster candies, shouldn't I? So I have the spider donut and spider cider as well. Let me do a little bit of uh, mess moving stuff around here. I'm going to get rid of these monster candies. Yeah, take the monster candy. <laughs> Did I sell this toy knife as well? Don't use the snowman piece, trust me. Okay, I won't use the snowman piece. Okay, so then what items should I try to use? going to need it. I'm going to try my best to use as little healing items as I can, which means these CTs will be very useful. Um, do I care about the, the... I can probably get rid of these two, just for more box and inventory space. Ribbon. Tough glove. Okay, so now let's grab... I'm going to leave, like you said, the snowman piece. I'm also going to leave the butterscotch pie because that's obviously going to be a super useful one. Mr. Doritos, hola! We are we are getting ready for <laughs> the undying fight, so I'm getting a little bit of tips here. No what? No what? I'm not going to sell the quiche. I was going to keep this is my this is my inventory space. This is what I'm going to bring. This is my goal. You're still trying to be undying? Yeah, I don't know. This might be the rest of my stream. I have no idea how difficult this fight's going to be. I'm trying to prep as much as I can. Uh, I am very interested to see how difficult this is. Okay, is this good? God, gods be like, do you think this is a good inventory for right now? I don't need this toy knife. Oh, don't use the quiche either? So what should I bring then? Just the spider donut and the spider cider with the CTs? Okay, I won't sell a toy knife. Was I not supposed to sell the other items, or... I don't know if I already saved, that's the problem. I don't know if that really matters, because, like... Yeah, because our, our current gear is pretty good. 
I want to make sure that I get the okay before I save. If I save and I need something that I've already sold, that would be the end. <laughs> Just we lose. Okay. I think we're ready. I think we're ready. I'm going to save again. I'm going to need the toy knife. Okay. I have three CTs on me. How many do I need? Or how many should I have? I want to make sure that I'm I'm as prepared as I can be. No, you can't get Temi armor in the genocide run. Cinnabunnies? Is that something else I can buy? What are the Cinnabunnies? Oops. Okay. I, I think I think I'm gonna try this. We can always go back, I assume. So if I need to go get more items, like more healing items or something, we can always do that. Oh wait, this is just a dead end. The Cinnabuns are in Snowden. Oh, okay, I should have picked some up while I was there. Oh well. I'm hoping that we can just learn the fight good and not be bad, but from what I hear, it's a very difficult fight and I don't know what exactly I'm I'm in for. Yeah, chat's like, it, it's just the default delay that it gives me, which is, it should be like 30 seconds or 20 seconds maybe. Yeah, learning is definitely going to take a lot of tries. Even when I did Undyne the first time, it was pretty, pretty horrible. Um, I don't remember. Just, oh, behind you. Yeah, and I know it's going to be true for the Sands fight, too. So we're going to see. Seven, seven human souls. With the power of seven, seven human souls, our king, King Asgore Dreamer, will become a god. With that power, Asgore can finally shatter the barrier. He will finally take the surface back from humanity and give them back the suffering and pain that we have endured. Understand, human, this is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul, or I'll tear it from your body. Yeah, she is stronger, faster, and better. Yes. Undyne, I'll help you fight. Ah, oh, this is... Yo, you did it. Undyne is right in front of you. You got the front row seats to her fight. Wait, who's she fighting? Hey, you aren't going to tell my parents about this, are you? Yeah, muscle memory. That's the problem, right? Is if it gets to the point where I have to just get so good at the fight that I can just do it automatically, it's going to take me a while to learn. That's what I'm worried about, honestly. <laughs> the thing, the, my weakness with the first Undyne fight was the yellow arrows. The yellow, the yellow arrows were always the most confusing one because they would like jump around and those just hurt my brain. Everything else kind of makes sense still. Maybe you can do multiple streams. Maybe. We'll see. Undyne told me to stay away from you. She said you, you hurt a lot of people. But you, that's not true, right? You, why won't you answer me? And what's with that weird expression? Oh man, man, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. What would Undyne do? Yo, you'd better stop right where you are, because if you want to hurt anyone else, you're you're going to have to get through me first, and... Oh. Yeah, there is a lot of yellow. That's what I'm worried about. I know this is definitely not true if she dies from that. That's definitely not going to happen. Undyne, you're, you're hurt. Hurt, it's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave, okay? 
I'm dying. I, I'll take care of this. Get out of here. Dun, dun, dun. Welcome to Insanity. This is where I'm going to just... This is the rest of the stream, guys. I hope you're ready. Eh, it's nothing. No, somehow with just one hit, I'm already... Already... Damn it. Papyrus, Alphys, Alsgore. Just like that, I... I failed you. No. My body. It feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instant, I'll shatter into a million pieces. This music, though. But deep, deep in my soul, there's a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll... You'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams vanquish in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I can feel their hearts beating as one. And we all have one goal, to defeat you. Humans, no matter what, no whatever you are, for the sake of the whole world, I, Undyne, will strike you down. Oh God. You're gonna have to try a little harder than that. Here we go. Oh, okay, that's the easy part. Dude, she hit me once and that was like 12 damage. Oh man, I gotta hit those right on. Oh, how'd I do that? Oh my gosh. Oh no, I ran into it. The wind is howling. Oh, I hit too fast. Oh no, this is where it gets crazy. I'm messing up so bad. Okay. Now, should I use... I think I should use items to learn the fights, at least. How much does this give me? That's like nothing. That's 12 HP. I should have used the other thing. Use a T? Does that help me? Oh my god. Because that was a pattern, I was able to do it. But once those get crazy, that's going to that's going to be the end of me. Oh, what the? No, 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 no. No. Oh, my gosh. Use T when you're when you're red. Okay, I see. I don't really have a lot of healing items here. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean. Yeah, don't use. Okay, I see what you mean. How long does the T last? Oh my god, dude. The yellow ones, I swear, those are going to be the ones that I have to just get the muscle memory. I want to try to get as good as I can, though, with as m little healing items as possible. Because, like, I want to use healing items, obviously, to to teach myself the fight. The T lasts for one round. Okay. I have to do this every time. Does they make you do this every time? Oh, no. 
They, I know they do this on purpose. The wind is howling. I missed one? No way. Okay, I gotta get used to that. Those ones, too. Looks like you came back to something thrilling. Yes, this is gonna be the hardest part of the game. Man, I keep missing those. That's not something I want to be doing right now. Oh man, I, I those ones are easy too. Yeah. I feel like my hand just doesn't move fast enough. Man, I hear Okay. Oh, thank you for subscribing, gamer lover64. Okay, I probably should have healed. Okay, that one is not too hard. By the way, once you start the fight, you are now the villain. Yes. Yes, I know she's like the heroine now. So that's why this is like so difficult. You're already subbed. Thank you for subbing, Mr. Doritos. I know sometimes if you don't have it enabled on your account, like if a public profile or something on YouTube, it doesn't show up if you subscribe. That's why you might see some and you might see, not see others. Not close to the hardest part. I know it's just more so getting used to it now. Um, okay, I also didn't use any healing items. I wanna try to get as good as I can without using the healing items as much as I can. Yes, I know. I know I should have healed there. I kept hitting fight because I, I'm, I need to focus on it. I did this a lot. I did this a lot when I was playing Cuphead where I would talk to chat a lot and then I wouldn't really be focusing on the fight. And I just need to actually just enter focus mode. Okay. Let's, let's see. Okay. Let's see if we can learn this fight. Okay. I don't know if there's a faster way I can skip this. I'm just kind of spamming all the buttons. where I hit it. Oh my gosh. That one's very confusing. No way you play Cuphead. That's like my favorite game ever. I did. I actually played the full game as videos and then I played the, uh, the expert levels on stream. Oh, I'm red now. Oh, I did it too fast. Okay, I don't, maybe I, oh man, I don't really have a lot of healing items. I don't want to use the, the T yet, that's the problem.
<laughs> yeah, those... Dude, it's the yellow ones. I gotta memorize the pattern of those ones. Oh. The problem is it's like when it's a pattern, it's easy to memorize. So I just got to get used to that pattern. <laughs> yeah, the T helps only for the red parts, but I didn't really get hit by those parts. I know it's good to heal and then it makes it a bit easier, but I think I should have made. I don't really have really good healing items. How much does this give me? 24. OK, this the cider gives me 24. The donut only gives me 12, so I need to use the cider probably more, more likely. Sure. Okay. I need to start using the T. I think I need to start healing a bit more. Did you know that there is an Undertale fan game that's all bosses? The game Game Boy. Or the gameplay is fun, I'm assuming. I mean, I did not know that. Okay, like here for example, I could use T, but I don't think that's necessarily worth it, right? Oh my gosh, that's fast. How'd I miss that one, dude? Okay, let's use CT here. You have the choice to spare Monster Kid and end the run. Every boss fight gives you that chance. Wow, okay. Oh, I think the extra speed is actually throwing me off somehow. That's unfortunate. Oh no. Oh. How did I get out of that? Okay, th that's okay. That was was it left down right up? I gotta I gotta get used to those yellow ones. You can spare Sans when you get to him. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Sans kill, Sans kills you if you spare him. I think I I think I knew that already, but I, I'm definitely gonna try it. Okay, I'm getting there. Undyne only gets harder than Sans on the second phase uh, through because in order to beat Sans, you have to memorize every attack. But Sans is harder than Undyne. Okay, I'll see. I'll see how long both of them take me. I do think that this is going to take me the the longest of the stream so far. <clears throat> The thing is, I probably will tell me, like, I have a guide open, Gods Be Like, so it's it will probably be spoiled for me either way reading this guide, but... It's like, yeah, normally we try to avoid spoilers, but in this case, it's like, I need to make sure I do everything kind of correct. If it's something I wouldn't have done otherwise... Ooh, oh, how did I miss that, dude? Oh, I missed the bottom one. 
Darn. No! How'd I get hit there? Oh my gosh. This is just not braining for me right now. I don't know why I got hit so many times there. I almost just want to restart. <laughs> I wish there was an easier way to restart, but I I just realized I used the T on this side. Um, let's use the spider cider. If you have the patience, you can get infinite money, meaning asymmetric and bunnies or eight T. Yes. I actually don't have the dog residue right now, though. Oh my gosh, I was doing this so well before. I think the problem is like, I need to I need to focus, and it's like if I get quiet and I just I'm sitting here focusing, I don't know. It's not the best streaming content. I'm at one. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Oh, it's okay. It's left. It was left. Um, was it right first? Oh my gosh. Okay. It's just in a circle though. It's just in a circle. I keep losing at the same part though. <laughs> Been at one before it sucks. You can attack Sans 22 times if you only attack, but if you heal up, it goes up to 30 times. Yeah, so it's like healing um, does use up turns. I, I want to try, dude, I, I don't know if this is, if it's better for me to try to get more items or if it makes sense for me to just keep trying it out and trying to improve. Okay. Okay. <laughs> you gotta focus. Oh my gosh, dude. What are you guys talking about? <laughs> Do you remember how I'm snow, uh, snowed in Papyrus tried to distract you with food? Sans does that too, so if you heal, the fight won't progress. Interesting. I don't think you're understanding Sans just takes time. Undyne is unpredictable. This, I have a question. Does Undyne actually have unpredictable, like, arrow moves? Or is it, like, consistent most of the time? Yeah, so I can play through Undyne is harder, but on the first playthrough, you have to memorize every single attack, therefore it's harder. I see what you guys mean. Okay, we're getting close to the part that always gets me.
No, it's the yellow ones again. Uh. Oh my gosh, you the yellow ones just... The yellow ones break my brain. My brain just goes... The thing is, I feel like if there was no yellow ones, it would be like a million times easier. You've been streaming for three hours almost? Yeah, I know. It's, it's Normally my streams only go for three hours, so I knew the end of the stream was probably going to be the Undying fight. So it's definitely also a bit of an exhaustion from streaming for three hours. But um, it's going to be a lot of memorizing. Okay, that was bad. Oh no. Okay, we're gonna do a heal here. Man, actually healing or um, going faster on that thing is really hard. Are you guys still fighting about who, which one's harder? <laughs> Let's like all agree they're just both really difficult. Okay. Oh man, I got hit there. I need to stop getting hit on these like earlier ones. Oh my gosh, man, I'm getting hit by everything. Ah, this is going horribly. Okay, that was up, right, left, down. That was down twice. Okay, that was up twice, down twice. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I, I'm kind of missing a bit of the chat here because I'm focusing a lot on this. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think I think both are hard. I think the, the general consensus is that there's some RNG with uh, Undyne, so it can be harder. But Sans, once you memorize it, it's easier, but you have to memorize it. I'm on the easy part, but I'm also just trying to memorize everything, right? Or I'm at least trying to get used to it. So it's like, I know it's easier, but it's like, I'm not going to know what the next part is unless I get good at the easy part, right? This, this is always what happens, though, is because... My attention span, like, is pretty small, so when it comes to trying to memorize something, it becomes very difficult. So I'm gonna mess up the easy stuff more than the hard stuff. You're running into the back of the arrows.
I will get it, don't worry. This one's like surprisingly hard for being really slow. Oh my gosh. I should not have got hit there. Oh, I'm gonna hope you win, Dra Draco. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Look, I have fought online, uh, fought on Dime for two years, and not once have I been able to no, uh, not hit or no hit some of those backwards arrows attacks. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get used to it right now. I think it's also because I'm focus switching a lot between just chats. I don't want to be just a boring stream here, just sitting here staring at my screen the whole time. Oh, I turned it too fast. I, I, I'm still trying to get used to it. I think like if you turn the direction, even if the arrow is like halfway in the area, it still counts as you like blocking it. So I think I need to like kind of like calibrate that timing a bit better. The thing is, too, I actually think the CT kind of like messes me up when I have to do some dodging here. Somehow I missed one. Oh my gosh, I forgot what the second one was. It was like up left right or right left down. The yellow it's the yellow things that are getting me the most. Like I am getting hit from some of the the beginning attacks, but it's like memorizing the order to those. Hmm. This is going to this is going to take me quite a while probably. I knew this was going to happen though. The same thing is going to happen with Sans, because I have to memorize the whole fight. You're hitting the back of the arrow when you leave. Yeah, look at the chat during the option. The thing is, though, when I'm like switching between focus mode and going back, I'm not very good at doing that. So it's going to take me a bit. <laughs> I, I will get it, though. I just might not be as fast as you guys. I don't know how it... I swear it just doesn't sense my keyboard sometimes. I, I swear I hit it. It doesn't even count it sometimes. Yeah, that, that changes every time, too. Oh, man, I'm doing so bad with the attacks, too. Oh, I hit the back of the arrow there. Okay, that one was horrible. Man, th these ones are the easy ones, and I keep thinking there's something else. Oh, I think I'm just getting tired, guys. Okay, 
Okay. So I could use a heal here. I do feel like when I heal, though, it actually kind of messes me up. The speed, like, I think I just got to get used to using the speed a bit more. Okay, that one was bad because I needed to position myself sooner. And that one didn't sense my second hit somehow. Oh, come on. I gotta get, figure out the way to like move around the screen during that. Dude, I swear it just doesn't sense my... Okay, that, yeah, see that, I'm still not even getting that. Took me a week to beat Sans. <laughs> yeah, and for six months for Sans, oh my gosh. Okay, you said a week for Undying. I think I said Sans. <laughs> that was wrong. Although for the six months, I wasn't playing every day. Yeah, like, I mean, I'm not going to be playing every day either. It's also like, I always find that near the end of my stream, like, I do get hungry and I get tired. So when I'm hungry and I'm tired, it's like my reaction time is going to be slower. So, like, I might actually have a better chance the next time I start playing. But it's going to be like after not playing for like a week. So it's going to be weird. So, like, I was hoping we could get good progress on this fight today, but I don't know how good that's going to actually be. Okay, so if I can hit those. Man, it's actually hard to not get hit at all during that. There's got to be a tactic that I can use. Oh, it's doing very good and then that happened. Okay, I think here might be a good time to use CT, maybe. Not... This one's speed helps literally nothing. It'd be easier if I like switched up my key binding slightly too. I was so close too. No. Dude, when I get cornered like that, it's like you're basically screwed. Yeah, see, ah, oh, man. Fighter Cider, we need it. Okay, that one's easy. That one, like, you basically just ignore the yellow ones. Okay, okay. I'm not doing amazingly. But at least learning some of the other ones. Oh. Oh my goodness. No, I ran right into one. I was doing decently for there for a moment. 
Okay, so that I need to figure out the best way to move around the square to dodge most of that. I think a circular pattern works, but I need to make sure I know exactly how to maneuver around all the spikes. That was kind of crazy. Yeah, don't use all the CT before the hard part. I, the thing is, though, I need to at least get through a good portion of it to learn what the next parts are. And then once I know how most of the fight looks like, it'll be easier for me to pick and choose how I approach everything. So, like Sometimes I wonder if my left hand, because I'm using my left hand with the um, WASD keys, I just key bound them to the arrow keys. I'm wondering if my left hand's slower than my right hand, because I might actually have a better time dodging and stuff with my right hand. I doubt. I want to just give up already. Oh my. I swear it just doesn't sense my buttons. Okay. I think I'm, I'm slightly getting better at those uh, slower approaching ones. Oh, I was going to get hit there too. You need the T for that section? I did have it last time. I keep missing like really good hits there. Oh, dude, I almost got that without getting hit. Wonder if it's like best to start off left. Okay, okay. I used one CT when I fought her. Oh yeah? I mean, I feel like it's just learning the fight. So I'm trying to use all my healing items. I'm probably going to use them a lot when I'm learning the fight. No, it's right left. Dang. I went left right and then that just messed me up there. I was down, not up. <laughs> That's fine. I think I'm sl I'm slowly starting to get it. I don't know if you guys are noticing my differences between every time I play. But the slower ones, I think I'm starting to get better. And I think I'm slowly starting to get better at um, dodging the arrows. Yeah, the mass arrow section. I, I, knew, I knew what you meant, uh, gods be like. I was just... The thing is, you need to know when it's coming to. So I'm going to have to be very like aware of when I need to actually, actually do it that way. <laughs> Okay. I like this intro because it's like they're trying to like show you. It's like, oh, it's easy. Okay, I'm talking and I just got hit twice. Can I just restart? <laughs> but it's like they're trying to show you like, oh, it's easy. And then it's just like not. Yeah, that was... I'm doing horrible now.
Wait, how do I go to the other page of items? Or did I already use my thing? I don't think I did. Oh, I didn't want to use the CT. I wanted to use the other thing. Uh, okay, I swear I hit up, but okay. Okay, now I don't want to use all my seat. So can you not view your page two items when you're healing? Wait a minute, is that how it works? Because so I wanted to use the spider cider before. No, 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 no. Okay, you gotta just wait for them to slow down when they're spinning. That was horrible. What? I'm going to give you a little hint. Look at her name. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm so confused. I'm going to grab a, grab a drink of water. Gonna be my last attempt. I think I'm gonna try a little bit more. Like I said, I could stream a bit later today. It really depends on how much I need to eat something because I am starting to feel hungry. Oh, that's fine. I honestly wanted to just restart anyways. That run was kind of botched. Look at her name being Undying the Undying. Is that what her name is or am, am I missing something? Let me, let me see, let me see, let me see. Okay, we fight Monster Kid again. Man, I wish you could just skip through this quicker. But again, they try to make this method of playing not easy. Oh, is the name being the heroine? <laughs> or Undying the Undying? <laughs> you don't have enough for page two? But I did have enough for page two because I had the cider, which I didn't see until I used one of my things. Okay, okay. I didn't wait fast. Oh my gosh, dude, the slow ones are so annoying. Oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so now I'm gonna just use up one of these CTs. Dude. I need to like wait for it to slow down and then... I think that's like, I just need to get better at this. Wait for it to slow down, go through. That's my problems. I'm going too fast. <laughs> I'm dying the undying. Yes, you are right. She doesn't die. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. 
I'm still really bad at that part. Yeah, okay, let's go with Cider. I want to at least try to get a little bit more practice in. Oh my gosh, that's insanely difficult. No, I, I just cornered myself. Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. Okay, so that one's, that is the furthest I've gotten. So we were actually able to see a little bit more. I want to get good at doing the beginning though. So I don't need to use up any of my items until like maybe we hit some of the yellow arrows. If I can get better at the beginning portion, that's the main, my main gripe here. So I'm going to do a couple more attempts. I don't, maybe we'll stream for maybe like 20-ish more minutes. I think next time I play, I'm going to switch up my key bindings a little bit to see if I have an easier time using my right hand versus my left hand. I, I could be wrong. I might have to like just completely disregard that. Man, I'm hitting it too fast. I can do that more. That's what I need. Dude, it didn't sense my button twice. No, I got hit twice. Yeah, how do I? Oh, there we go. I'll do that. How did I? I don't deserve this one. I was doing so well. I should have used thing. Oh, I am so dead here. I didn't use a thing. 
Yeah. Oh. I mean, that was a pretty good attempt. That was pretty good. I'll probably do a couple more. Like I said, I'll, I'll it'll probably go 20 more minutes or so. We're getting there. They make you do this every time. It's like a punch you right in the face. You have to hit this poor little guy. Okay. Do this. Had you made it in time to watch this poor little guy though? <laughs> yes. I mean, this is definitely probably not going to be beaten today. That one wasn't too bad. Oh. I'm sad that I got hit there. What? I went too fast. No, I lost on that one, really. Oh, I didn't realize it turned red there. Oh my gosh. We're not going to get this one. I have, like, no good healing items. Hmm. really hard to not get hit at all. Yeah, that one's really... I, like, if I can get there with more health just to try some more of those... I don't exactly know how I can get through that part without getting hit. Because, like, you can kind of go in a circle. But when you're going in a circle, you need to also watch where you're going so you're not hitting any new spears forming. And if you go too close to the edge, you can corner yourself. So that's very difficult. All right. So I got a couple more attempts in us.
Music's great, though. So close. Oof. I swear I hit the button and it just doesn't go sometimes. I don't know if it's my keyboard or if the game just doesn't want to pick up my inputs. I swear I hit, I'm hitting keys sometimes and it's just not going. Oh my gosh. That was the dumbest way to get hit. I'm actually doing worse on those things now. I need to get better at these because they, they get harder. They get harder later. Oh. I feel like if I had some caffeine in me, this would be much easier. <laughs> Okay, so I'm curious how close to the end we've actually got. If the life or if her health bar is in any reflection to the actual progress of the fight, we've probably got pretty close, actually. Which is kind of sad. I was really hoping we could at least get close or even like beat her today. But I know this is a really difficult fight. Man, those ones are crazy difficult. I think I'm starting to get how how to do those though. Oh, that was just unfortunate. I already got cornered at the top. Ooh, nice. How do I just keep messing up on the dumbest things? <laughs> Be filled with determination. Wait, no, you you don't have this, you monster. I'm gonna try my best. Aiden Zimmerman, you will win. Thank you. I will do my best. Oh man, it's this part that I'm still like, like I have ways of kind of dodging it, but it's just like getting good at dodging it is the main gripe for me right now. Cause it's like, you have to like wait for them to ugh, see, I got like kind of go, oh, I, I hit it twice. Darn it. I don't know. Is it better? Hmm, I wonder if I should start going right first. Go Spider Cider. I have to heal something here. I always mix those up. It's left, right, but I always do right, left for some reason.
Oh my gosh, I don't know what the heck just happened to my brain. I'm gonna try again. If there's one thing I'm good at, it's not giving up. I'm, I mean, staying determined. I have to stay on character. <laughs> I have to stay determined. That was, that was my fault. I messed up in a, like, that should have been something I have the pattern down for, but I just, my muscle memory just kind of got out of whack there. So far, the part that I'm least confident with right now is actually the, just the circle spikes. She's our last hope. She is, but we're here to destroy her. Actually, isn't Sans technically the last hope? But we, but they don't know that. Oh my gosh, I was spamming the buttons. Okay. I wasn't paying attention. I want to just restart. Can I buy a restart, please? Oh, once you get to Sans, everything's done. I just wanted to give myself a handicap for some reason. Hands took you so long. Yeah, I, I have a feeling the same is going to happen for me, too. I really shouldn't be getting hit on this part, but I kind of just butchered this whole run. That was bad. I think my fingers are stopping. <laughs> They're not working right. I already used... I didn't use Spider Cider this run. I did that one for the first time without getting hit. Oh my gosh. Dan's just trying to start... just force you to go back to the start. Be, this could be the end. I really wanted to get that extra hit in, though. Okay, we just got to watch the angles of these spears. That's just going to be the same thing again, isn't it? Oh, no, it's this one. I died. Oh my gosh, I just thought I died.
Damn it. So even that power, it wasn't enough? <laughs> if you if you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're wrong, cause I've got my friends behind me. Elphis told me that she would watch me fight you. And if anything went wrong, she would ev evacuate everyone. By now she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. Did I actually win? Is it not over? Or And with that power, this world will live on? I did it? I did it! I thought it was going to be like a fake ending, like, oh, you think this is over, and then BAM! What? I thought I would not have got it that fast. Like, I know, I know it took me a while, but I didn't think... That is an amazing way to end our stream. We actually beat Undyne. Oh my gosh. <laughs> God, God's be like, no, the heroine dies. The villain prevails. Oh my gosh. That means next, next time. Oh yeah, Sans is going to be a whole stream thing. Sans is going to be a whole stream thing. I don't even know if it will be done within that stream. <laughs> That's going to be... An in intense stream. Oh my gosh. That is crazy. That is crazy. Uh, I am going to take a well-deserved break now. <laughs> Such a determined lad. I can't believe... Like, I, I wanted to at least give it a couple more goes. And like I said, until like basically 10.30 my time. That's two minutes away. So we did it. Yes, the final boss is going to be very difficult. Papyrus? No, it's the other papyrus, the tiny one. <laughs> but uh, that, that was crazy. I'm very excited, though, to see how the Sans fight goes. I'm, I've seen, like I said, I've seen a video that was like, the video itself was like 15 minutes long of the fight itself, but I think like the actual fighting portion is about seven minutes and a half, like straight. That's going to be insane. That's going to be a, a horrible, horrible fight. You actually have to fight Papyrus again? I thought I blew him up already. That would be nice to see another Papyrus again. Oh my gosh. All right. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. I am glad. I saw so many new faces today, actually. It was really fun to, to chat with some new people. Um, I think there's a couple subscribers, too. I haven't checked the subscriber count, but... Thank you, anybody who who <laughs> subscribed during the stream. Um, I wanted to also mention uh, mention I won't be streaming next week. Uh, this is already a known fact. Next week, um, uh, I'm going to have to be taking care of my wife. She has a surgery coming up, so she's going to be doing a little bit of recovering. I don't know if the following stream after that is going to be um, good or not, so I will keep everyone posted on the YouTube community and my Discord if you want to keep keep up with this stream just stay tuned to the youtube community posts i'll make sure everyone knows um any days that i'm not streaming i usually post on there if i don't post anything i usually say i am streaming i should probably just start saying whether or not i am streaming so you guys aren't so confused but um i'm very excited i'm so happy that we got through undyne before wait, wait before i end the stream what what <laughs> dance make you wish you say in the pacifist run that's the point though right that's the point, is you need... you. Sans is supposed to make you want to close the game. Uh, go off this path, or get off this path. Reset the game. <laughs> You're trying to make me restart everything after I got through Undyne? There's no way I'm doing that. <laughs> I, will, I will stick it out till the end. That's the point, right? Anyways, thank you all once again. Um, like I said, no stream next week. But when I do come back, which I'm hoping is the following week, it's probably going to be the whole stream is going to be the Sans fight. And I'm pretty sure it's probably going to take me all stream or a good portion of it, or I'll give up. <laughs> I am going to have a bad time. Yes. I'm wondering if I should look up some of the fight, but I feel like it wouldn't be as fun if I like tried to, to know the fight before I go into it. So 
I think I think I'm just gonna go in and see what happens, right? I think that's gonna be the best best way of getting like my experience. Yeah, don't. don't. I don't think I want to do that. I feel like that won't be fun for you guys if I if I just like try to figure out the fight first. I think if I go in, I'm blind. You guys are gonna enjoy my suffering. <laughs> so. Anyways, I'm getting hungry. I hope everyone has a great night, a great week, actually a great next two weeks because I won't won't see you guys next week. But when you got when I am back, we're going to fight Sans and we're going to see how difficult this game can actually be because it's supposed to be one of the hardest fights in the entire game. So <laughs> you monster. Yes, yes. <laughs> Anyways, thank you all for stopping by. This is going to be my final goodbye. See you in the next, next week, <laughs> next, next week, two weeks from now on the next stream. Bye everybody.